That garbage truck is amazingly beige. I have actually had to pee since before Oxnard, but the restaurant I went to had a line for the men's restroom. So since Santa Barbara and Oxnard are less than an hour apart, I just said, you know what? I'll hold it. I'll take my chances. I will pee. Oklahoma! Does he still want to come over? Give it up. beautiful downtown Santa Barbara. Okay, roundabout time. Here we go. Will I die? Let's hope not. That is a weird roundabout. That's like a weird jelly bean shaped roundabout. <laughs> I don't really know what to make of that thing. Oh, I need to keep an eye out for this place I'm supposed to eat. I'm supposed to meet my friend to eat. It's called Norton something. Oh, there it is. Um. How boned am I? No parking. Whatsoever. Actually, I'll make my own. That was a delicious lunch, but it took a lot longer than I had hoped. There was a little bit of a communications error with my buddy who I met for lunch here. And I have been here for ooh, like an hour and a half, which is not helpful, but that's mostly my bad. Hopefully we will make it to this campsite before dark. Uh, I believe this is safe enough. This is technically going to be a detour from Route 1, but it's only for a couple of miles and I feel almost obligated to, to take this little detour because it's going to take me through UCSB, which is where I went to college. I got my bachelor's at UCSB, so I want to ride through the campus and I guess show it to you guys a little bit. If you've never seen it, what it looks like, and also feel some nostalgia. This there's a freeway they used to call they used to call it the Santa Barbara what did they used to, the Santa Barbara Super Speedway I think was the nickname for this stretch of road because everyone used to fly down it. It's only like this freeway only exists for a mile for like a mile and a half or something. And you know you get off the 101 and then there's just this like dead straight stretch of freeway that you kind of you know, people would just go all out on pretty much from here until that bend you can see up ahead where it bends to the right and goes into campus. And the cops used to just sit here and give out tickets all day long because people just couldn't control themselves. So anyway, this is it. This is uh, UCSB. You can see it here in the, in the near distance. There's a lot of buildings that I don't recognize because the last time I came in from this direction was a long time ago. And uh, they've done a lot of construction, put up some new buildings. As you can see, it's very beautiful campus. This is one of the reasons so many people want to go here. It's a gorgeous area. You've got the beach right over here. Clear line of sight to the uh, Channel Islands out there. Out there. So this is the Santa Barbara Airport. It's all very green, lush. It's all 
very modern. The campus is fairly modern because it's relatively new as top tier universities, top tier universities go. Oh, orientation. Are they already doing orientation? I guess they would be. I'm gonna. It's almost time for me to do orientation for my grad school. I just got into grad school, so it'll be interesting. But yeah, this is UCSB. This is where I got my very first speeding ticket. Was on this very road, actually. It was a chicken sh fat, stupid dumb cop that gave me the ticket too. It was a 25 mile an hour speed limit through here, and I think I was doing probably 32, which is granted over the speed limit. I admit I was speeding. It it certainly was safe, as you can see. They changed the speed limit up to 30. But, uh, yeah, when I looked at my speedometer, I was doing 32, and uh, that fat piece of trash cop that pulled me over said he clocked me doing 40, and I asked to see the radar, and uh, he wouldn't show it to me, so I'm pretty, pretty goddamn sure I wasn't doing 40 miles an hour on this road. But that's what he ticketed me for, so I just went to traffic school to uh, get it taken care of. Uh, so, anyway, I say anyway too much, I need to say that word less frequently. These are the fields that we used to practice on when I was on the UCSB's Black Tide Ultimate Frisbee team, which I was only on for one year for a variety of reasons I won't go into in this video. I wonder if we'll be, I think you can, all of this is new, all of these buildings here are new, they weren't here when I was in school. This campus is expand well it's not expanding geometrically speaking but population wise it's blowing up they've built a whole new they i'm sad about it actually but they they got rid of an entire uh, i don't even know what to call it they got rid of a huge swath of athletic fields and they built new dormitories there to accommodate the enormous number of students coming in to fill all these new classrooms that they're building so i guess i don't know what they've done about that if they've just had to cut back on athletics or what but anyway that's your whirlwind tour of ucsb can't even see most of the buildings that i had classes in anymore because they're further into the campus and they've built new buildings up around them so you can't see in to the old rickety ones these are the new dorms. This used to, all of this used to be athletic fields. Now it's dorms. This is Isla Vista, world famous for drunken debauchery, promiscuous sex, uh, prodigious drug use, illicit and otherwise. And more relevant to my interests, Freebirds World Burrito. One of my favorite places in the world to eat. I see parking. Actually, let me go right over.